Spencer Lazara, MMA Interviews TV, here at Bama USA with the champ, Mr. Chris Cully, the urban legend, victorious in a three-round fight. Didn't defend the belt tonight. Had some issues with the weight cut. Yeah, um, I missed a treatment for uh, hydration therapy. I have a bad kidney, and uh, I called Brett. Let him know I wouldn't be able to fight. I was gonna pull out. Had a lot of stuff going on. We had some losses in the family, and uh, I just wasn't there mentally. He said, "No, let's make it a super fight, three rounds. Do it at a catchway. I need you on a card." And I owed it to my people, the whole 760. They brought tickets, merchandise, I mean, made banners. Yep. They're all out there, man. And I just didn't want to let nobody down. And so I went out there and fought the best I could with what I had. Looked like your head was in it in the cage. You dominated the stand-up. Were able to stuff every takedown pretty much in that fight. Talk us through the victory. Um, I just listened to my coaches. I heard them loud and clear through the cage. They're telling me to keep the jab up on the eye, keep the elbows going to cut them early. Uh, they're telling me what to work to defend the takedowns, and I just was a sponge. I just kept doing what they told me. And then when it got to the center of the cage and I got my space and opportunity, I do what I do best. He was pretty durable, man. You had him with some good knees, especially there in the third round. You had him hurt, continued to pile on the knees, but he kept coming. Yeah, he's a tough kid, man. And hats off to Justin Lenny. Took the fight, and a lot of guys backed out. A lot of guys said they'd fight me last year. I put together a string of really tough wins, and now they're running from me. And uh, Justin Lin stepped up from Northern California, man, and he said, let's do it, and he did it. What do you attribute your change to? Because I know you had a little bit of rough times in MMA. These wrestlers were getting you down and whatnot. But now it seems like a total difference. It seemed like a new Chris Culley, the new urban legend. Well, my coach is really, uh, my kickboxing coach, Craig, he gave me a speech beginning of the year, and he was like, this is what you want to do. You got to do it. Uh, no more bullshit, no more giving an inch. And when I go to Millennia, my coaches, Batiste, Mansuri, Romeo, Aram, they drill. We drill, we drill, we practice, we roll. And we know that we are our best tool. So Georgie Carhan, inside of what, Chris Mercado, Willie Gates, these guys are rotating on me and smashing me. And they're telling me what I'm doing wrong. And I got guys like Eric Winston coming down and just stubbing me left and right. But it makes me a better fighter. And so I can only attribute it to my fans and my support group at home. I saw that spinning back leg kick kind of Lorenz Larkin-like, or did he take it from you? See, I took it from Coach Buchanan, who him and Willie Surya used to do it back in the day. I brought it to Millennia, and then uh, we're all trying to do it and knock people's legs off with it. It landed pretty good? Yes, sir. He, he gave me the winky face when it hit. Well, what else you want to say, mister? Um, I just want to thank the 760 as a whole, Millennia Mixed Martial Arts, Willow Muay Thai Gym, Cali Fighter Have a Blast, Creative Minds and Visions, and Fierce Fitness, and everybody supports the Urban Legend. There you go. Chris Culley, victorious. Look for him to defend the belt in Bama, USA, here and later this year. Hey, this is Ariane Salas. This is Uriah Faber. This is Glover Teixeira. This is Dan Henderson. You're watching MMA Interviews. And MMA Interviews. You're watching MMA Interviews.tv.